All right, so as I was saying, today we're going to start talking about integers. All integers mean to you are whole numbers that are both positive and negative. So if you're keeping track, we're done with chapter one. We're starting chapter two right now, 2.1. By the way, can y'all say integers for me? Integers. Good. No, not integers, right? We're not tigers. Grr. Integers. That was funny. That was funny. Don't need the tiger. Right, exactly. We're integers. Integers. <clears throat> and basically what it means is like we've been saying, these are just positive and negative whole numbers. So we're not on to fractions just yet. positive and negative whole numbers. Basically, here's what we're doing. We're taking our number line that we've been very comfortable with. Number line usually starts at where? Zero. Uh -huh. Zero. And as we go to the right, we do stuff like one, two, three. And the further to the right we go, the larger numbers we deal with. That's how number line works. You've already, you already know that. Now we're taking our number line and we're saying, what if there's another way we could go? Specifically, instead of going to the right, we're going to take it and extend it left. And we get a whole other set of numbers. We get the negative numbers along with our positive. So while we still start at zero, we're going to climb more and more negative as we go to the left. And just like to the right, does this ever stop? No. I can go forever. I can go left forever. Same thing. Same numbers, just these are negative numbers as those were positive. Also, we need to know how to be able to plot numbers on a number line. That just means find the value that I'm giving you and put it somewhere on that graph, on the number line graph. So can we plot two numbers? I want you to do this on your paper because you should have it on your paper right now. I want you to plot two. That just means go to two, put a dot. Plot two and negative three. So two means we're positive, we're going to the right, we're putting the dot. For negative three, do I go to the right or go to the left? Left. I'm going to go over how many spots? Three. Yeah, it's just right here, we're going to plot negative three. That's how you plot digits on a number line. You just go over there, you put a dot there. Can you tell me which number is bigger? Two. 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 Why? But three is a bigger number than two. Two is negative three. Oh, I see. Okay. So that makes a difference for us whether something's positive or negative. Now, if you have a hard time with that, as a lot of people do when they're learning integers, there's an easy way to tell when one number is bigger than another. And here it is. All you gotta do is picture a number line in your head, or draw one on your paper if you're not, if you can't picture it in your head, that's fine. Just plot those two numbers. So now, right now, two and negative three, it's pretty clear that two's bigger because you'd rather have $2 than owe $3. But if you compare two negatives, a lot of people get tripped up with that. So here's a technique to do that. You plot the digits on your number line like we have. The digit that's to the right is the bigger number, no matter what you have, whether you're two negatives or two positives or negative and a positive or whatever. The numbers as we go to the right are bigger and bigger numbers. Bless you. So whereas negative three, that's over here, and two's to the right, we're going to say two's bigger because on the number line, it's to the right of that number. Does that make sense to you? So as we go to the right, we get bigger numbers. So a little, just a little note for you. And recall just means, remember this from, from the past here. If a number is to the right of another number, it is bigger than or greater than that number. If a number is to the right of another number, it is, we're going to use these, these key words, it is greater than. If 
that is greater than that number. Now, there is a symbol for greater than that you may or may not have seen before. Have you ever seen the, the greater than symbol? If you have, show me with your hands what the symbol looks like. It's called an inequality. You might have heard of an inequality. Yeah, that's the one. Look around at some people who have them up right now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. Anybody else? You ever seen that one? Looks like this. You seen that? Or like this one? Have you seen those little arrow looking things? Those are called inequalities. And they're not equal signs, but they have a relationship amongst two numbers. And what it says is one number is bigger than, greater than, or smaller than, less than another number. And the way we place them has to be appropriate. You might have heard this. The alligator always eats the bigger number. You ever heard that? Your teacher said that to you? Yeah. It says that the open side has to be facing the larger number. Oh, and that's, yeah. that's the way we write inequalities. It's this symbol right here. The greater than, does anyone know? Is the greater than this one or this one? Pointing to the right. Greater than. Greater than. It would say one number is greater than the other. Which number would be bigger here? This one or that one? Left. This would be bigger, right? So this is the greater than. That's the greater than symbol. So when we read that, we go, oh, that's greater than. So if a number is to the right of another number, it is greater than that symbol, greater than that number. Likewise, we can switch around the statement. If a number is to the left of another number, we say it's less than. That's how we confer, con, uh, convey the idea that it's smaller than. So if a number is to the left of another number, it's less than. say less than, we're going to use the opposite symbol here. It looks like that. Oh, also I have some homework to pass back to you. Uh, so just to take a moment to explain this, uh, when I pass back homework, you're going to notice some numbers are circled. Those are the ones I graded. Remember I graded how many numbers? Five. five. So you have five circled items. You'll have a check mark, meaning you got it right or a cross out meaning you got it wrong. Okay, that's how I grade this, the homework. Um, you'll have something out of five points at the top or 10 points if you turn in two homework assignments at once. So go ahead and pass these on out. Make sure that it hits every row though because I need to make sure all y'all got your homework back. I've got a lot of assignments so pass these kind of quickly. Okay, so going back up here, we have a couple ways to represent this information. Can you tell me again which one is the larger number out of negative 3 and 2? Two. 2. So we could really write two statements here that make sense. If I put the 2 and the negative 3 like this, or the negative 3 and the 2 like this, we can say the same thing two different ways. We just have to use the appropriate greater than or less than symbol. So can you tell me, what's going to go in between here, the greater than or the less than? Greater. Sure, that's, that's this way facing. It's got to open to the bigger number. So we'd say 2 is greater than negative 3, and that's for sure a true statement because 2 is to the right of negative 3 on the number line. That's how we define that. How about this one? Is it still greater than? Less than. Good. So we'd say negative 3 is less than 2. Do those say the same thing to you? Yeah. It's just backwards, right? Just a different way of saying it. What I'd like to try right now is going through and using these, these symbols appropriately. Um, if you're having a hard time, again, just picturing what a number line looks like, draw out a number line and plot these digits. What we're going to do right now is figure out which numbers are bigger and use these symbols appropriately. So we'll try that with several examples and then we'll move on from there.
Uh, by the way, keep, the, keep it to yourself on this one. I want everyone to think about this. So if you know the answer, great. That's fine. Just write it down for now. Uh, don't shout it out at this one moment. So again, answer it just on your paper, not out loud. The question I'm asking is, what symbol should we be using here, whether it's greater than or less than? So let's try this. So we're going to do this one together. Um, but if you're having a hard time, could you not make a number line with this? Now, we don't have to draw the whole number line. But if you're, if you're looking at this, we go, OK. Here's a 0, right? If we plot these two numbers, we're going to plot negative 1 and negative 3. So when we plot negative 1 and negative 3, we got we go here and we go there. Does that automatically tell you which number is bigger than the other number? Yeah. yeah. It says the numbers to the right are bigger numbers. The numbers to the left are smaller numbers. So just by picturing a number line, or if you can't picture it, actually draw it on the board, you can get every one of these numbers right. There's really no excuse for, or, sorry, get each one of these examples right. There's really no excuse for getting these wrong because you can all draw a number line. Does you have to be with me on that? So, either we're, we're good at this, we can picture those number lines, we write them out. Can you tell me which is the bigger number in this particular case? Negative one. Negative one, absolutely. So we're going to use the appropriate symbol to represent that negative one is a larger number. Are we going to be using the greater than, which is this way, or the less than, which is this way? Very good. So we'll just have to put the less than in between. And that's a true statement. Negative three is less than negative one. That's true, because it's to the left of negative one. I'll give you a couple more. Let's try three more on your own, and then we'll move on from there. No, it's an option for you. It's just a way if you get confused, you go, man, I, you know what? In this one case, I'm just not sure. Draw the number line. Yeah, I'll help you. Did you get them? Let's do this thing then. Are we going to be using the greater than or less than for this one? Great, less than. Less than should open up like this, right? Okay, perfect. So less than here. We kind of, we're going to read in our head. Just make sure it makes sense to us. Negative 4 is less than 3. Yeah, that makes sense. Negative 4 would be like you're owing money. 3 would be like you have $3. So if you're owing someone money, you have less than if you would have $3. Next one is negative 2 and negative 5. Which is the bigger number here? Two. Great, negative 2. Okay, so we should be using what symbol? Perfect. And lastly, we have negative 1 and negative 2. Negative 1 and negative 3. How many we got? 3 out of 3. Perfect, fantastic job. Now, could you take this information and write numbers in order from smallest to greatest, or least to greatest, or smallest to largest, things like that? Could you do that? Let's try that. I'm going to give you a list of numbers. What I want you to do is make sure you can write them in order from smallest to largest. 